Ever wondered how to troubleshoot a ventilator machine? It's a complex process, but understanding some basic steps can prove invaluable, especially in a critical situation. One of the first things to check is the power supply. Is the ventilator properly connected to a power source? Is the power cable securely plugged in? Is there any visible damage to the power cord or the outlet? Ensuring a secure power connection is the first step in troubleshooting a ventilator machine. Next, turn your attention to the alarm indicators. Ventilators are equipped with alarm systems that provide valuable insights about potential issues. Understanding what each alarm signifies is crucial. Common alarms may indicate high pressure, low pressure, or disconnection, among other things. The air supply is another critical area to inspect. Verify that the air supply to the ventilator is adequate and not obstructed. Also, ensure the oxygen source is connected and functioning correctly. Don't forget to check all the tubing and connections to and from the ventilator. You are looking for any kinks, blockages or leaks in the tubing that could hamper the machine's operation. The patient circuit warrants careful inspection. Check for any disconnections or damage and ensure it is properly connected to the patient and the ventilator. If your ventilator uses a humidification system, ensure that it is functioning correctly. A dry or malfunctioning humidifier can lead to complications. The oxygen sensor is another key component. It needs to be working correctly and providing accurate readings. Remember to double check the ventilator settings. They should be appropriate for the patient's condition. Likewise, the alarms should be set at appropriate levels. If your ventilator has a battery backup, make sure it is charged and functioning. This could be a lifesaver in the event of a power failure. Also, ensure the ventilator's software or firmware is up to date. Some issues could be resolved with a simple software update. Consider the patient's environment. The room temperature and humidity should be suitable for the ventilator's operation. And finally, in a critical situation, be prepared to manually ventilate the patient using a bag valve mask while seeking assistance or servicing for the ventilator. In conclusion, troubleshooting a ventilator involves checking the power supply, alarm indicators, air supply, tubing and connections, patient circuit, humidification system, oxygen sensor, settings and alarms, battery, software or firmware, and environmental factors. And always remember, if all else fails, there's the option of manual resuscitation. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and ensure the best possible care for your patients.